Happy holidays, everyone. This is my sixth end of year video as your CEO. And I wanna begin by thanking every one of you for all the work you've done to make it another great year. 2022 was a year where we saw the world reopen and we regained a bit of normalcy. But there were also obviously many new challenges along the way. This year we saw a big return to in-person and hybrid events that kept our live team very busy. Altogether, we hosted more than 100 events with a total of seven multi-day event experiences in places as far flung as Botswana, Israel, Abu Dhabi, Singapore, Detroit, Miami, and even more. We stood strong with tentpole events as both the Women's Summit and the Philanthropy Summit celebrated their 10th year, Healthcare 11th year, and our Asia CEO Summit 20 years. Plus, we introduced new summits like Iconoclast, Sustainability, and the Future of Work. Our editorial team has also been crushing it. We've launched new franchises like our first ever creators list. We invested in growing our tech team. We flexed our journalistic muscle with investigative pieces like TikTok that was read aloud at the Homeland Security hearing. We've produced amazing high impact journalism that have even been quoted on the Senate floor, as well as other corridors of power. We also had an exclusive interview with Sam Bankman-Fried, 24 hours before he was set to testify before Congress, and the same day that he was arrested. And we even won our first Emmy for Best Business Documentary for the WeWork, the making and breaking of a $47 billion unicorn. Now I've told you all before that my number one goal is to make Forbes the best place to work in media. It's still my top priority every year. We are a people-oriented, results-driven culture built on trust. We continue to build that culture of trust through our investments in hybrid work and flexible time off. We're also investing in your career development with over 16,000 courses available for all employee levels. These courses have been well attended too. If you haven't taken advantage of them, you should check them out. And we recently rolled out our most robust mental health wellness benefit with a focus on easily accessible, culturally centered care offered through various formats so that everyone can find care. Now, as we build the best place to work, celebrating diversity through our BRGs and culture and community newsletter, creating equity through strengthening our management practices and nurturing a culture of inclusion through education. Programming and conversation is key and it remains an important focus for the entire leadership team and for me personally. We know there is an incredible value in building dynamic teams and creating a stronger sense of belonging and equity in the workplace. And we're committed to achieving greater progress in this area. Now this year, I've been proud to see the progress with our HBCU Scholar Journalist Program. In April, we welcomed three scholars who joined a six-week training session before officially joining our internship program. We're also driving the conversation externally through initiatives like Forbes of Culture's Legend of Culture partnership with Moed Hennessy and the Journeys to Wells series. It's a set of three day immersive experiences that will take Forbes of Culture members and black business professionals on a trip to Tulsa. Finally, one of the things we've learned over and over again at Forbes is there's tremendous interest in our brand from around the world. It's a testament to the power of Forbes to influence and motivate people from the Americas to the Middle East, to Europe, to Asia. And as we head into the new year, we will look to take our business to new heights and assure we continue to grow and serve our audiences and impact communities around the world. This extraordinary interest in Forbes is all thanks to the continued commitment and results that this team consistently delivers. And for that, I am forever grateful to you. I look forward to working with you in the coming year as we put our plans for growth together. But before that, I hope everyone gets much needed rest and relaxation with their loved ones during our winter break. So thank you for making it another great year. And we'll see you in 23.